Hi guys, just to uh, let you know, end of this video, I've got something really, really special to show you. Something that I didn't expect to find at all, so stick around until the end. Future Dan will also appear in this video because uh, of just unexpected things happening in this specific day. This is a few days later, so yeah, enjoy the video. Stick around till the end because this is something good. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another collected episode. Kids and everything have gone back to school, so collecting season more or less starts pretty damn soon. Should be much better finds now. Seems uh, it's not that many people out on the beaches. This week it's sort of early tide, so you've got to get out nice and early. It's currently about half past five in the morning. I left my house at about, I don't know, ten past three or something like that. But you've got to be in it to win it. Pretty dark at the minute, head torch season, got to remember that. So yeah, hopefully a good day today. Hopefully, uh, I've got a good feeling about today. I think something rare is gonna come out. I've just, just got a feeling about it. Don't know why, but yeah, let's get it started. Found my old hammer too, which is good. I've lost that about four times and it's still come back to me. So uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's get collecting. Let's find some rare stuff. See you soon. Well, that's not the start I wanted. Just uh, just went to go start filming, picking up some nodules that I found, just to uh, get my bottle of water out of my bag. It's not in my bag, it's back of the car. And I can't do a full day without water. So uh, back up the cliffs, go get it, back down again. It's just gonna go bad now, isn't it? <laughs> oh well. Right, see you back down here again. Right, water, check. Food, check. Everything else in the bag, check. Right, let's go again. Little piece of jet I've just picked up on the beach. I was uh, using the Victorian ages for jewelry. Just pitch black when you polish it. I mean, this, this doesn't look very good quality at all light as hell still put it in my pocket might polish up why not just picked up a few nodules split them ones down nothing really in uh, my bounds did pick up this though that looks fairly promising I guess there's a big dark maybe even a hildy so I'll whack that open now and I'll show you also nothing. Oh well. Back at it we go. So check this out. This is a rather large block. I don't know how hammer's on there. Don't know how far this all this runs through. But all of that is uh, gyrosteus bone, which is a big armor-plated fish. Runs all the way along here. You can see the plane of ribs that runs all the way around and it does go around here also but it's in a septarian block so the chances of really getting that out are very high I mean actually I think there's I think there's more here bloody hell that's a big old block of fish that it's a shame it's in uh, it's so septarian otherwise I'm, I contemplated bringing a saw and taking that yeah, keep checking back on that every now and then, I suppose. Nobody's moving that. Just walking along here. That looks like a promising nodule. That's all the Telltale Hill designs. Oh, hey, oh. Uh, well, it might be a pretty crushed Hildy. May prep, though, from this side. It'll still go in the bag. Either that or give it to someone and they can have it and cut and polish it. But yeah, another Hildy. And I had a good couple of Hildys in a while. So yeah, happy days. So, have a minute now. I've uh, built quite a few uh, nodules to split open now. A bag full. Had a few good ones, a few nice Hildys, a couple of nice Dacks. So that's always good. So yeah, I'm to split them on and then uh, have some lunch. 
and then uh, we'll carry on round to the next bay and uh, see if we can find anything more. Hopefully. I'm still after something rare. Hildies aren't rare, but it's nice to get a Hildy. So yeah, I'll split them down now, show you after. There's the scraps. Pretty rubbish. Well, seems like it's uh, fresh out of the cliffs Hildy days. I don't know what's going on here. But there you go. <laughs> Lovely little Hildy. Again. I had this many Hildies in a day in a long time. So this has got potential. Somebody's obviously tried hitting it already, but they obviously didn't have a big enough hammer. hammer. But it's a big old round nodule. It's got all the telltale signs to have something in it. So I'm gonna give that a whack with the, uh, the big hammer and see if there's anything in it. Nothing you see, just a dud. So here's uh, what was a uh, piece of tree. It's now slowly it's getting turned. I mean, that looks like jet that to me, but I mean, it's way too thin to take up. But yeah, look at that. And the shine on that already, just from the sea wearing it down, is lovely. Not had much luck with jet in the past. I don't really actively look for it, but pretty cool. Big old piece. Just gave this uh, Dak a nice little tap, some other little uh, pyrite coloration. Ooh. Yeah, not a bad Dak that. Loads of pyrite in that though, so it might be worth just tapping a couple more times and seeing if I can get anything out of it, because that'll be a pain in the ass to prep that. But it's nice, really nice. So I'm home now. Remember at the start of the video when I says, uh, I'm gonna find something very rare today. Just had a good feeling, bit of luck. Luck's been on my side recently anyway. Oh, it happened. Oh, it happened. And of course it happened, uh, take this off actually for the minute. Of course it happened when uh, I wasn't filming. Of course. Liam had just come down, nipped out for Lee, nipped out for down for an hour. So I stayed out for an extra hour longer, chatting away to him. Picks up a, a nodule that looked like somebody had tapped, but you always check stuff. I pick it up, I say to Liam, I go, say, hey, look, I found more bloody crinoid. Just, crinoid seems to be, uh, seems to be my thing at the minute. In a nodule too, not shale. So I'm like, ah, oh, cracking. Took a picture of it, posted it on the Yorkshire Fossil Hunters page because it doesn't look like the usual crinoid I had. Posted it on there, set off home driving. Pulls up on my driveway. It's not crinoid. <laughs> Andreas on the Yorkshire Fossil Hunters page uh, comments on it going, yeah, well, you won't know what the species is because it's a uh, starfish. Yeah, a brittle star starfish. Possibly two in there. Could be more, I don't know. I've had a little play around with it with some iron powder, really low PSIs, just to, just to test the waters, see if I'm brave enough to tackle it or not. Still not sure yet. But yeah. <laughs> A freaking starfish. A starfish. Pretty damn rare. Fella on the uh, Yorkshire Fossil Hunters page, who's uh, from the National History Museum, too, seems pretty interested in that, so wait to hear from him and see what he says about it, because apparently there's not much research done on these specific starfishes. So, I don't know, but uh, yeah, I'll show you now. So, yeah, I uh, pick up this nodule. It's obviously been hit at some point on this side. That uh, looks a bit naff. Now does this, turns it over. And I go, bloody hell, look at the crinoid. Nope. There they are, starfish arms. This one and this one were showing. This one wasn't. Managed to reveal a bit of it there. But there's more pieces that looks like it's there. There's another arm there. I don't know if that has anything to do with this one up here or if it's another one here. It does look like there might be something else on the back here. I don't know yet. But yeah. That's, uh, that was an unexpected day to say the least. Oh, look at that. 
That's pretty damn cool. That's pretty cool, that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still pretty lost for words by that. I've just had a really good day. You know, it just seems to have been one of those days where uh, everything's worked out. So yeah, future down here. Uh, since the finding of the starfish, that was, uh, and the fella, Dr. Timothy Irwin, who's the well, the curator for the uh, starfish and echinoderms at the Natural History Museum, got in touch with me, sent in some pictures off of the starfish and everything. Uh, it's looking more and more likely that it's going to be a new species of starfish. Not 100% confirmed yet, but it seems that way, which is absolutely incredible. Never in my life did I think that would happen. It's definitely been one of the goals. Would have loved to have found something something new, new ammonite. Just turned out to be a, uh, a starfish instead, which is pretty amazing. So uh, got to look into the uh, the way now of donating or loaning it for the time being. I will donate it at a later time down the line, but for now, I'm happy to loan it to them and uh, have it studied and everything because that's important. A lot of private collections, they don't tend to do that. They just keep it for themselves and no, you know, no scientific data comes from it. So, yeah, that'll be getting sent off at some point in the near future. Hopefully it is 100% a new species. Like I said, it's not guaranteed, but it's, it is looking that way. Especially from the, uh, it looks like it's come up from the Staves area. Being washed uh, washed down to, uh, to Salt Lake Bay. Yeah. So, absolutely brilliant. I'm ecstatic still. This is a while after after the video, but yeah. So um, hope you all enjoy the video. So yeah, that's how uh, that's how my day ended. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that at all. Still not sure what to say about it really, but can't believe it. Never had a starfish before. Starfish don't turn up very often, so uh, that's really good. So yeah. Like, subscribe, comment if you like that, because I do. That's amazing. I'm pretty damn tired. I'm probably going to call it quits down in the shed because I've been up since... What time did I wake up at? I don't know, three-ish. Drove down to Whitby, got there for five-ish or whatever it was. I can't even remember anymore. Guess what? I'm doing it again tomorrow because my luck's in at the minute, so I'm not. I'm not risking anything. I'm going out again. I'm going to try and bag something else rare tomorrow, so uh hope probably see you in the next video. <laughs> Have a good day, guys. Be safe. Have a good day.